Someone is manipulating Balon. Is Balon's fate sealed? Will the mysterious power that he seeks be his undoing? I've been thinking since the first trailer of Ahsoka was released and when we saw Balin's orange lightsaber for the first time, not only was it super cool to see a different colored lightsaber live action in Star Wars, but it also immediately shrouded Balon's skull and Shin Hati in mystery and intrigue. There's only been a handful of times we've seen orange lightsabers in Legends for various reasons and in canon even fewer. Dave has even said he didn't want them to have red lightsabers because, well, they're not Sith. So what are they? Where do they come from and what do they want? For Lord Balon, in the last few episodes, we've learned more about his backstory but still not quite enough to leave me satisfied personally and we still don't quite know how Balon found Shin. But don't get me wrong, I think he's the most interesting character in the show and along with Thrawn, Feels like the most genuine Star Wars villain we've had in a very long time. There's a certain nuance and methodic nature about them. They're thoughtful yet unpredictable. In episode 5, we heard Balon say that something called to him, and he asked Shin if she could hear it. That something stirred here, can't she see it? And although she's shown interest throughout the show in the power that Balon seeks, but she does seem more interested in power the good old-fashioned way, with an army, an empire, and an iron fist. We know she wasn't trained at the temple, so she has no history that we know of or connection to the Jedi other than Balon's skull and her brief interactions with Ahsoka, Ezra, and Sabine. And while we don't know for sure what exactly Shin even wants, this episode she chose to stay with Thrawn, find her place in his empire per her master's orders. I myself was a little disappointed to see them separate myself. I was hoping that they would stick together, but we'll see if their paths cross again or if there's an even more interesting story now that they are separated. Balon, I suspected in episode 6, or at least began to suspect, that he really doesn't care about Thrawn or Thrawn's plan for the galaxy. As he stated to Ahsoka, his need to find power goes far beyond himself. It's for the greater good, and to restore order to the galaxy, to break the cycle of a republic falling, an empire rising, a republic rising, an empire falling. Is he truly trying to seek out something more powerful than himself? He who has bested the likes of Ahsoka a couple of times now, which means Balon's skull is probably one of the most fierce warriors in all of the Star Wars galaxy. There's probably only a handful of Jedi and Sith that could take him in a duel. So I don't believe any longer after he seems to not really care for Ezra either that whatever power he seeks goes beyond any Jedi or Sith. I know there's rumors that a Sith remnant could be trying to contact Balin. I don't think he would describe it as something stirring, though. The most popular fan theories and rumors that I see are the Bendu, the Sun, even though a lot of people suspected Anakin of being the Sun. There was a recent shot of a bat-like creature on Peridia that could actually turn out to be the Sun. It would make sense as a far greater power than any Jedi or Sith other than maybe Anakin. And it is, of course, the true embodiment of the dark side. We know the dark side clouds your mind and manipulates you. Maybe Balon is being manipulated by the sun for some reason, and the sun possibly has a part to play in this battle with Thrawn. But what if it's a surviving Zepho? We really don't know much about the Zepho, other than most of them were force users to a great degree, and the ones that were were actually considered sages on their planet. Could this be an entity or creature, rather, that Balon hears calling to him? It would be so interesting if it turned out to, in fact, be the Wills. As we know, George was wanting to explore them more in his own sequel trilogy. Dave is most likely very knowledgeable of those sequel trilogy story treatments, so it wouldn't totally surprise me if it did, in fact, end up being the Wills. Although we have yet to see a dark side user such as Balon interact with the Wills, and as far as I know only Yoda and Qui-Gon have done so in canon, it would make a whole lot of sense as the Wills, the Bendu, and Balon aren't light or dark, they are something greater as Balon proclaims. I would love to hear your theories, we've only got less than a week to go before we hopefully find out the true motivations, the true power that Balon Skull seeks. It's driving me crazy. I 
I'm so invested into his story. It's such a shame about Ray Stevenson. He's a great actor. I've loved him in other projects before this, but honestly, Balin Skull is one of my favorite Force users after watching this show. Easily top five. So I hope whatever he is looking for is worth the wait. But my fear, whether it's the Bendu, whether it's the Sun, or whether it's the Wills, that this will probably be the last time we see him. I do think that whatever he is looking for, whether it's the Bendu, whether it's the Wills, whether it's the Sun, is inevitably going to end up being his undoing. But that's just my theory, and that's kind of where my theory ends. i love to hear yours down in the comments below. We are a very small channel, so it really helps us and supports us a lot if you could like and subscribe. It helps us more than you know. If you enjoyed the video, we got more like it. Thank you so much for watching and taking time out of your day to talk some Star Wars with me. Hope to see you in the next video. Until then, may the Force be with you.